Sporting Tour commentary. Uh, it's uh, 2,189 meters high. Started more just now. Out of two, almost two hours that we have been hiking, and uh, I think we caught it away. It's quite tough. just arrived at the shepherd's hut which is pretty much the halfway point for Tuvetkop which is uh, up there in the distance. I think the hardest part is still to come. So, so basically this is where the, the fridge, the bar fridge So this is day two, we are still here at Nell's cave and as you can see it looks rather misty. So we're going to go explore around here a bit and uh, Team Skitter over there is going to be looking for a geocache. Just uh, give us an update, what is the the name of the geocache we'll be looking for? Tuver Cache. Tuver Cache. Tuver Cache. I want Tuver Cache. And my name. Four and a half terrain out of five. Okay, so that that's quite difficult. That is the objective for today. Uh, no rock climbing, unfortunately, but we'll explore for next time what the possibilities are. see the geocache is looking for the thing there and um, I'm trying to traverse across the ledge here which is rather exposed and uh, I'll keep it a bit tight to the hills there we go. And you can see it's quite a quite a drop basically I'm looking north this would be the west uh, copy, west peak, and that would be the east peak of Tuverkop. And the, this is the tunnel that goes through, but uh, it's pretty blocked up. It would take some serious uh, negotiating to get through that small hole, but I suppose it is possible. Maybe just with a rope for support. I managed to get about halfway up there and it gets a bit tight but that will at least get you to the other side and, uh
Osaka Geocache is a luck. Well done, Scotters! This is uh, Team Scutter, huh? Yes, going down. Going down. So what are what is the caches that you found? Just remind us. Uh, Grandad's dynamite. Yeah. It was uh, Mr. Nell who used dynamite to blow up that cave so it's big enough to stay in. Okay. So his granddaughter placed the cache in his mem memory. And then there was another cache, Getover the cache. It was placed by Peter Scott, one of the very first people who started geocaching in South Africa. Not an active geocacher anymore. Yet, the cache still stands. And uh, the person who found that cache the very first time couldn't find it last year. And I was worried it's going to be missing, but we found the original container. Okay. And that's good news. But this, over the cache, was the most difficult cache that I have ever found. Taking my time on my ride Oh, 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 I'm falling So I'm taking my time on my ride Taking my time on my ride Okay, well, we're just about to conclude our Cover Cup mission uh, we're heading down the last few hundred meters to the car And we are done
I've been thinking too much Help me I've been thinking too much Help me I've been thinking too much I've been thinking too much